Elton John, 75, was in the midst of belting out his greatest hits on his Yellow Brick Road tour when he stopped to remember the Queen. The monarch died aged 96 at Balmoral surrounded by her loved ones. News of her death was announced yesterday afternoon after an official statement said she was being supervised by doctors. During his gig at the Rogers Centre in Toronto last night, Elton stopped the music and gave an emotional speech. He told the crowd, she was an inspiring presence to be around, I've been around her and she was fantastic. She led the country though some of our greatest and darkest moments with grace, decency and a genuine care and warmth. Piers Morgan blasts vile disgusting criticism of Queen after death the singer continued, she's been with me all my life. And I feel very sad that she won't be with me anymore. But I'm glad she's at peace, and, at rest. She deserves it because she's worked by hard. He went on to send his a love to her family, adding her spirit lives on. A clip of the moment was shared on Twitter by 98. One CHFI. They wrote, Sir at Elton official gives tribute to the Queen at his last show in hashtag Toronto hashtag the Queen hashtag Elton farewell tour. Elton also tweeted his condolences to the late monarch in view of his one. One million followers yesterday. As part of a lengthy statement, he said he was deeply saddened by the news. James Jordan rose with Denise Welch over Meghan Markle's speech, reaction Rachel Riley's eye-popping display leaves countdown viewers distracted, pictured BBC News Clive Myrie slams insensitive criticism of Queen coverage, revealed, she was an inspiring presence to be around and led the country through some of the greatest and darkest with grace, decency and a genuine caring warm. Queen Elizabeth has been a huge part of my life from childhood to this day and I will miss her dearly. Elton was knighted by the Queen at Buckingham Palace for his work in music and philanthropy back in 1998. At the time, he said, I am extremely proud. I love my country and to be recognized in such a way. I can't think of anything better. Tonight, the newly appointed King Charles III will address the nation following his mother's death. An official statement from the royal read, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held.